When you guys were working, you know, your touchdown play in practice where you kind of, you know, start your right be route behind the offensive line and going to the flat, did you think during the week that you're going to have a real opportunity to, to run it in the game? Yeah, well, I never got that rep actually in practice. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, just with that play, that's our, our first read with that play. So um, it popped open. We took advantage of it. Did you think you were going to come down? I know kind of tippy-toed there to get your toes down. What was, could you take us through kind of like the body control and everything as the ball's coming in? Yeah, um, ball's on the sideline. Um, and I kind of caught it and it just went in slow motion. Uh, I got to get my head down, could see where my feet were at, and uh, just had no space to get the second foot in. How did your background as a quarterback help you as a wide receiver to get kind of chemistry with the offense? Um, that's tough to say, just because I played quarterback in college, um, and this, a, this is a totally different league. Um, I, I, I definitely understand, um, you know, some of the things that, that Teddy sees uh, probably differently than, than others may. But um, the game is so much faster. The concepts are so much uh, more intricate. Um, so, you know, right now I'm, I'm trying to grasp receiver fully, um, and, and hopefully that the quarterback experience helps out later on. Was there a point during OTAs or camp where you realized that this was possible, that you could be an NFL receiver, be active on game day, be a third receiver? Yeah, I think um, this past OTAs, this past training camp, was um, was a moment where I'm like, hey, I, I, I think I do belong um, here in the NFL as a receiver. I think I can play alongside these guys. And man, our, our receiver room, I'm just so lucky to be in this receiver room to be able to, uh, you know, grab these different things from from the older guys, from Judy. Um, it, it's been awesome to to learn from from such a great receiver room. Kendall Vick said that starting in OTAs, that's where he, he as soon as you kind of got here for that, notice you know a, a difference in you and the way you were approaching approaching things. What was the biggest difference uh, in your off season preparation leading into this OTAs versus obviously you're going into your first year. Um, you know, with the pandemic and everything. Well, yeah, with the pandemic, it was such a crazy year. Um, you know, I had no idea what I was coming into. I uh, didn't know what to expect. And, you know, the receiver roles was fairly new. Um, so I, I wasn't sure what to, to come in and 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 what I needed to, to excel at. But, you know, the off season, this past off offseason, um, I knew the points I had to get better at. Um, you know, I knew, I knew my weak spots. And, yeah, I just took the time off this offseason to, to really grind and, and, and pick those points up. You mentioned what you've learned from Tim and Jerry. What specifically have you learned from Courtney and Tim and Jerry in your game now? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the small stuff, the details. Um, you know, we got 10, 11 guys in a room, and, uh, you know, our coach is responsible for, each, for, for coaching and, and developing each one of those guys. Um, so there's not always time for the, the small, the intricate details. Um, you know, so every day in practice, um, I'm just, you know, watching, you know, Tim, Court, different techniques they use, different releases, um, you know, Spencer, Judy, a lot of things you can't replicate that Judy does. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of small things he does well. And um, just just picking up any and everything I can from those guys. Can you t told me in the offseason that you hadn't yet been to the, you know, the, had a chance to go to the Hall of Fame and see the display there, but I understand your grandparents did. Right. What what kind of feedback did they have for you after uh, going and seeing that? I know. They said it was awesome. Um, you know, they said it was, a, it was a great experience. They got, uh, I guess, a, a tour uh, around around the building. Um, so I'm, I'm sure they, they, they got some love in there and uh, – is probably probably unexpected. They um, they said they got pictures taken and a few conversations. So I, I was happy to see them get out their shell a little bit and end up on Twitter. I, I know uh, you're focused on the now, um, but do you ever sit back and kind of reflect on how crazy this last year has been for you, playing quarterback and you make the team, catch a touchdown pass, you're in the Hall of Fame, that sort of thing. Do you, do you ever sit back and think this is why? Yeah, I, every day I, I wake up and I'm, you know, it's crazy to be, I'm playing in the NFL. This is um, such a blessing, such an honor. Um, so, yeah, every day is, is wow. I'm, you know, this journey continues and um, through all the bumps in the road, is I'm so appreciative of, of where I'm at now. Um, but like you said, it's, it, you know, it's, it's good to sit back and, and enjoy those moments, but also um, preparing myself for, 
for what's next. Where's your head at? Where's your head at being the training camp? I mean, you saw Trinity get traded. You saw obviously a ton of depth in the wide receiver room. Did you think you had done enough, you know, to make the team? And kind of where were your where's your emotions at, man? It's tough to say. I mean, it's the NFL, so you know, it's it's a business. Um, you know, guys end up you know a lot of different places, and it's not all just, always just about talent. So. Um, you know, I just did what I can this training camp. I, I put my all into it and, um, you know, just left the rest, you know, in God's hands and, you know, upstairs, guys. Kendall, do you think being sort of willing to be tossed in at quarterback showed them an intangible they may not have known about you? Yeah, I, I honestly do. I think my excitement um, when, I, when I got that opportunity, uh, Coach Fangio, um, um, Coach Shula, uh, Coach Shermer, they could all see my excitement and the opportunity and and how hopeful I was to be able to go and make a play for my team. Um, so I, I, I think more than anything, the guys respect that in the locker room. Um, not so much the field, but that that's a, a, a respect off the field more so. Well, then a couple of days at corner, I think we saw you maybe head the wrong way after catching the ball and you'd be reminded. <laughs> yeah. But were you thinking like, okay, I'll, I'll give this a shot. Maybe I'll make it as a corner. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'm willing to play, you know, wherever I can to to help the team to make the team better, um, and you know I have fun on the football field, so it doesn't matter what position where I'm at. Um, I just want to play football. Last question. Sorry if this is unasked, but when you played against the Saints after that game, did you have a thought I might not play in another NFL game, or did you have hope that you would get back to it as a wide receiver? Yeah, I didn't have that thought. I. Um, I knew that'd probably be my last game as a quarterback, <laughs> but um, but no, no, no. I um, I knew it was a lot of work to do. I, I feel like I have a lot of potential, um, and just continue to develop. And you know, you never know where you're gonna be. So. Thank you. Appreciate it, Thanks. Appreciate y'all.